Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I honestly never thought this day would come. I am going to be filming and trying out a La Mer foundation. Guys, I've wanted to try this foundation out for years, but I could never convince myself because of the price point. It's La Mer. And I don't know if you guys saw, I posted a video last week where Sephora was doing like a little one-time use coupon thing. And I wanted to pick up the La Mer foundation during the like holiday savings event a few weeks back. And it sold out in my shade and I had kind of like convinced myself again that I didn't need it. And then it came back in stock and I had this opportunity to use a coupon so I did it. I finally picked it up. I can't believe it. Here it is right here. I did buy a few more things and I'll share with you guys what I picked up and I'll try out those as well. But the main thing I spent my money on was this. This is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Foundation. I have seen so many celebrity makeup artists use this on clients and I've just, I've heard great things about it. I've been so curious, but it's expensive. In fact, let me tell you how much this is. <laughs> it's actually like ridiculous how expensive it is. It better work miracles on my skin is what I'm hoping anyway. If it doesn't, I'll be very disappointed because if you guys didn't know, like I am obsessed with foundations. I've tried so many foundations out there. So I feel like I really have a good idea of what's good and what's not good, what works for me, what doesn't. Um, this is $135, oh, insane. I was able to, you know, use my coupon on it, which is great, but still it's like over $100 even with the coupon, which is insane. So let's read about this a little bit. It's supposed to have a medium coverage and natural finish. It's a liquid uh, formula. There's an SPF of 20 in it. It's supposed to be for all skin types. The thing that's supposed to make La Mer so luxurious is everything is formulated with like their miracle broth. Guys, keep in mind, this is literally my very first La Mer product. I do not know anything about how the Miracle Broth works or if it does anything, but I'm thrilled to try this out. I tried to use a little bit of an enzyme cleanser before coming on camera because I got a facial a few days ago and she did like a really gentle peel on me, but my skin was already a little dry around my forehead. So I have some dry patches there and I tried to use a gentle enzyme, but I didn't wanna like, you know, scrub my skin too much. So I'm just hoping that it doesn't cling to dry patches. Honestly, maybe it's a good thing so we can really see how it works. I picked up the shade 150 Natural you can see it's wrapped in like this cellophane. So let me open this. I'm hoping my shade works for me. I totally took a guess, which was a little bit stressful since it is such a pricey product. <laughs> I'm hoping this shade works. So here's the box. And here is the bottle. This is almost looking too deep. Uh, I hope it's not. I'll be so sad if it is. I can always exchange it, I guess. But like for this video, I was hoping that I got the shade right and I'm not sure if I did. Okay, so 150 natural. This was supposed to be, it's described as very light skin with a neutral undertone. That's me, so I'm hoping this works. It's got a pump. Before I pump it out, I should show you that. It's got a pump on the top. It's actually a really nice weighted bottle. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be too deep for me, you guys. No! but it's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna try it out still. It's too late, I'm already filming. So I did two pumps on the back of my hand. I'm not gonna do any um, primer. Oh my gosh, is this way too deep for me? Usually I can make like deeper foundations work pretty well. If this oxidizes at all, I'm in trouble. <laughs> It actually has quite a strong scent to it, which I was not expecting. I don't know if I love that. I'm just using a brush. Oh, I should have done one half of the face. Oh well. Okay, so this is definitely too deep, but once I blended it out, it's actually not looking too bad. And I think I could lighten it up a bit with my concealer that I bought. Okay, so that's two pumps. It's definitely not that much coverage. It did say it was a medium coverage, and I think that that's pretty accurate. I'm gonna pump out a half a pump more just for my cheek area. I'm really upset that this is too deep of a shade, but I'm determined to still try it out. I'm gonna pick up what's left on the back of my hand with a sponge, and I'm gonna press this into the face. Okay, something I am really liking about it is how it feels on the skin. It's really interesting. It feels very, like, nourishing. I'm trying to drag it down my neck a little bit so it's not too obvious of a discoloration there, but it doesn't seem to oxidize, which is nice. So whatever shade you get, it stays pretty true to the shade, at least so far. Okay, so here's what it looks like all over the face. Again, I'm liking how it's feeling. I definitely do have some dry patches around my nose, which is not ideal. Um, something that I do like too, is it has a bit of a glow to it. Like it has a definite, obvious luminosity. Like within the actual formula, there's a bit of a pearl, which I think looking you know, far away, it makes the skin look very luminous and healthy. 
There's nothing really about how this is supposed to wear at all on the box. So there's no claims for hours or longevity, which is kind of interesting, but it actually, I mean, it does look really nice on the skin. It doesn't have as much coverage as I thought it would. Like I had to put on a few layers to get the coverage that I personally like, which it's probably like a dollar a pump. So that could be a downside. Let's go ahead and keep doing my makeup. And then obviously the most important thing, I do wanna get in a solid wear test today. So let me show you what else I picked up. I got just a few things. The La Mer foundation was like the main thing that I picked up. I mentioned in my video and I did actually end up getting these. Oh, <laughs> here's the English side. The Resurface and Repair Phyto Retinol Blend um, Renewal Peels from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, they just had good reviews. I was excited to try them. I was planning on using these last night before filming today so that I could kind of like see how it worked. But because my skin is still kind of healing from that little mini peel the other day, I decided I should probably wait <laughs> so I don't overdo it. Um, but I did pick that up, so I'm excited to try that. I also ended up picking up the other shade in the Anastasia Concealer. I have the shade four, and I already explained this to you guys earlier. But I picked up the shade one because I felt like even though it's kind of light, I could at least mix it with shade four and create a nice in between for me. I also picked up two lip products. I got another shade in the Dior Attic Lip Glow. I love these. Um, I got the shade Plum, which is a limited edition color. Look how pretty. So I'm excited to try that. And then I saw this and I really wanted to try it too. This is the Say Liquid Lip Balm, uh, which looks really nice. Maybe I should try this right now and I'll let it just sit on my lips. Here's what it looks like. Just got this little lip gloss almost tube. Let's go ahead and apply this. It's definitely a thicker formula. Wow, it's very much a balm. I almost thought that it would be pretty glossy, but it's not really. It's a super balmy balm, but it feels nice and I like the color of it. Cool, okay. I might go grab my other shade in this just in case I do need to mix now that my foundation shade's a little dark. <laughs> so here's the shade four and here's the shade one just for comparison. So one is pretty light, but I liked the undertone of it. I could have gone with like a three or a two, but yeah, I just really liked the undertone of four and one. So I would rather mix for me. Um, I'm just gonna pop this underneath the eyes this is shade four. I'm gonna mix it with two dots under each eye of shade one, which is pretty light. Let's blend that out with a brush. This formula is so nice. Wow, I really like it. And look at the coverage that it gave too. Those two colors mixed together are like perfect for my under eye. I'm glad I picked up that lighter shade, even though, you know, it's a little more of a hassle to mix. It's worth it to me to get like the right shade and undertone for me. I'm gonna take my sponge and press the concealer underneath the eyes. Okay, now we're gonna just complete the face. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty powder and set the entire face. I'm someone who always sets the whole face. So when I try out new foundations, I like to just wear it how I would genuinely wear it. So I'm just gonna use this for underneath the eyes. And then I'm taking a fluffier brush and just setting the outside of the face. I'm gonna dip into my Dior bronzer just to warm up the face a bit. I feel like now the foundation shade is looking okay. I think it's because I kind of lightened things up with the concealer. I do think I could ideally go with, I think it was 120. I was going back and forth between 150 and 120. Both were like for light skin with neutral undertones. So I was like, I just risked it, but it's not looking terrible now that I have, you know, other products going on. I'm gently gonna press all of that down with my sponge and I'm gonna fill my brows really quick. I'm just gonna do that off camera because I'm just dying to get to a wear test. So we're not gonna do a crazy look today. It's gonna be pretty simple. Okay, I really like how that lip feels. I kind of want to work a little bit backwards and try out that Dior lip balm because I do want to wear this today, but I don't know like what the color is going to be. So just so I can complete my look and make it look good together, I'm going to try it out. So again, this is the limited edition shade called Plum. It looks so pretty online. So I'm hoping it is. I'm just going to really layer this up. Okay, this is so much more wearable than it looks. Doesn't it look super deep in the tube, but then like once you apply it, it's just like a sheer berry. It's so pretty. Just using my finger to blend that out. I do feel like I could use a lip liner with this though. Maybe I'll use my Lisa Eldridge Beauty Lip Liner just to sharpen up the edge. I'm just gonna add a little more to the center now that I have lip liner on. I love how effortless that color is. It's so pretty. Okay, now that I have the lip color on, I can kind of do um, a more fresh eye look. So we're just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna dip into my Dior bronzer and use this as eyeshadow. I wanna have a little fun with the blush, so I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta blush palette. This is the holiday palette. I'm gonna dip into the hot pink shade, and I'm just gonna to start to lightly tap this on the apples of the cheeks. It's so pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way, but I feel like it would look so nice with that lip. Oh, and it does, it looks so pretty. 
kind of bringing it up toward the brow. And I'm taking what's left and kind of popping it underneath the eye a little closer. I don't know if I'm gonna use highlight today because I really wanna see the finish of the foundation by the end of the day. So I'm just gonna stick to like more matte powders. I'm gonna take what's left on that brush and just throw a little bit of pink into the crease just to tie it together. And I'm gonna use my Cali Ray uh, mascara. I've been trying this out. This is my third or fourth time wearing this and so far so good, I really like it. So I'm going to apply this mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Okay, to finish up the look, I'm just gonna throw on my clear brow gel and I'm not gonna do a setting spray. I try not to use primer and setting spray when trying a new foundation just so I can really see how it wears by itself. This better wear amazingly well. For the price that I spent on it, it better be like a miracle. We'll see. All right, you guys, so here's the final look. It's so simple, but I actually love how the pink cheek and like the berry lip looks with a more simple everything on the rest of the face. So we're gonna go ahead and wear this for as long as possible. It's currently actually the evening while I'm filming this, but I do stay up late. It's 5.45 p.m. So I'm gonna wear this as long as I possibly can to really get like a good idea of how it wears. Um, based off of how it looks right now, it actually looks really nice. I like how it feels. It's so interesting. It feels nourishing. It feels like there's something that my skin is liking. It's really hard to explain. Like usually makeup feels like makeup on the skin. This almost feels like I put a really rich moisturizer on the face, but then it's not like oily or anything. It's so different. I really do feel like the texture and the formula is different than anything I've felt on the skin before. We'll see how it wears to see if it's different than anything I've tried. And I think it looks really nice on the skin. It just looks like a really healthy foundation so far. It's clinging to some of my dry patches here and here, which, you know, any foundation would have done that. So that's not ideal, but let's see how it wears. I'm interested to see, like I'm the most interested to see how it wears over like a period of time, because for me, my face tends to get oily in the T-zone. So I like to watch how foundations react over, you know, several hours of wearing it to see if it does a good job at like balancing things out or if it ends up being super greasy by the end of the night. So let's see. I'll see you guys in a little bit for my first check-in. Let's see if this $135 foundation is worth it at all. I'm so excited. It's been years of me wanting to try this out. So I'll see you guys in a bit for my first check-in. Okay, so it's been probably about 20 minutes since I was sitting in my studio. So the makeup is still freshly applied, but I wanted to show you guys, I normally do this in front of natural light, but it gets dark at like five o'clock here. So, so far things look really healthy. My husband looked at my face and he was like, oh my gosh, it looks so smooth. And the one thing that I did want to point out that I'm like thinking of right now is I can still smell the smell of it. It has to be maybe a fragrance. I can't tell if it's like a fragrance or just a strong smell of ingredients because it doesn't really smell like a florally perfume, but there's definitely something there. And so I don't love that. And I feel like every high-end foundation that I've ever tried has a fragrance. So we'll see if it lingers. So far, it still smells pretty strong. Um, but overall, I feel like I really like how it looks from far away. It's very luminous. It looks very pretty. Um, but of course, we're gonna have to, you know, wear it for a lot longer than this to really get a good feel for it. So I will see you guys in my next check-in and we'll see how this foundation held up. All right, you guys, so I am back. It is 2.35, so it's been over eight hours. It's actually getting closer to nine hours of wearing this foundation. So I actually like, in the camera, obviously it's pretty dewy. I'm not loving this whole situation. However, this happens with like every foundation that I wear. Some are better than others. This one I'm feeling like there's a little more shine than what I personally like. However, in foundation reviews and tests, I never touch up, which I normally do. Um, so I never let it get to this point, but I like to see what the foundation does without me touching it up. I feel like this foundation started off a little bit more luminous than a lot as well. So I was kind of expecting this to happen, but from far away and from like the monitor, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not my preference. I would definitely have to powder that or use a blotting sheet. It settled into the smile lines a little bit and around the nose and it's still clinging to some of those dry patches that I have. So what I usually like to do is I like to just touch it up with powder as if I were to actually touch it up. That's what I would normally do. But I like to give you guys a good idea of how it looks, you know, after a while of wearing it. By the way, I just reapplied the lip glow because my lips were feeling so dry. I loved this all day though. It looks so pretty. I think the color is so nice, especially for winter. Um, and the blush stayed on really well too. That was a side note. But yeah, you can see it's definitely pretty shiny on the forehead. Right now, you guys, like it feels like a 
good foundation. Let's touch up and then we can give my final thoughts, I guess. But like I've tried so many foundations that I have so much to compare it to. So to me and for me and my preferences, I'm not like floored by it, you know, especially at the price point. I don't know. So let's go ahead and touch up one half of the face. I'm just going to use my Huda Beauty powder. So I'm just going to press that in. Oh, okay. Well, it refreshes really nicely. So if I were to touch up like I normally would, it definitely freshens up really well. So here's the side without powder. Here's the side with powder. There's definitely like quite the difference. I feel like this would make my makeup last way longer than it did tonight anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and even out the other side. Just doing the same thing. I always get like the most obvious texture right here because once my natural oils start coming through, you can kind of start to see my deeper pores. But as soon as I add powder back in, it really seems to blur that out, which is great. I don't love how it's looking around the nose and around the chin as well. It's kind of doing, you know how sometimes foundations do like a, it almost separates, but on like a really small level. So from far away, it wouldn't be anything major, but I'm just really looking up close at this. I feel so much better with it powdered though, my goodness. So here's what it looks like if I were to touch it up. Honestly, guys, I don't know. I don't know if this is worth $135. I don't feel like any foundation would be worth that unless it was something that like completely transformed my skin and floored me. Is this a good foundation? I think it is. Like it's obviously really pretty. Something that I didn't love either about this was the smell lingered on my face for literally seven and a half hours. I was hoping it would fade, but it didn't. So that's something that I just, I don't love. Will it stop me from wearing it again? Probably not. I definitely will wear it again, but mostly just to kind of test out with other products and see how I feel. But I don't feel like I can say that you guys need this foundation. I've tried too many. I've tried too many at lower price points at the drugstore. And I've seen foundations work so well for me personally and my preferences. That doesn't mean that if you want to try this, you can't or you shouldn't. You should do whatever you would like. But for me personally, as someone who reviews foundations and recommends them to you guys, I think there's better out there for less than half the price point, maybe even like an eighth of the price point or smaller that really perform just as well, if not better. So am I happy that I bought it? Yes, because it kind of like helped me with my whole like, wondering if it was the most incredible foundation out there. Do you need this? No, you don't. I, I really don't think you do. I'm not mad at how my face looks. Like it works like a good foundation, but if you're wondering, I don't know if it's something that, you know, you'd be missing out on. Not based off of my first impressions anyway. So that's that. Have any of you guys tried this? I would love to hear in the comments if any of you have tried this out, what your thoughts are, if you love it, tell me how you wear it. If you feel like kind of on the fence about it, tell me that as well. I would love to hear in the comments. One thing I was so happy I picked up was this shade in the lip glow. I just think it's so nice for winter. I liked it especially paired with the lip liner that I put on earlier. So I'm super happy to have this and I can't wait to keep trying this out. I love the packaging. I think it's really cool. Woo, as I drop it. Um, but it's really nice like so far. I need to wear it for more hours to be able to see if it like hydrates or anything, but I'm excited about it. I'm glad that I picked this up. And then the concealer, you guys, the concealer looked so good underneath the eyes. Um, I feel like it was so long wearing. It literally looks pretty much the same underneath the eyes. So I'm glad that I picked up a lighter shade because I felt like those two shades combined worked really well for me. And I will have to, you know, try this out. And if I end up loving them, I'll definitely bring them back on my channel and tell you guys how it works. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out the La Mer foundation. I truly have been dying to try this for years now. So now I feel like very satisfied that I have it, that I've tried it. I know how it compares to other foundations and I can confidently tell you that you don't need it, but if you want it, you might enjoy it. I don't know. I just think for the price, it's hard to recommend something like that, especially if it's not something that gives um, a more full coverage right off the bat. I would prefer that if I'm paying that much to like be able to do one pump and have a little bit more pigment in there to kind of sheer out if I wanted to because I feel like I'm gonna have to like really build it up in order to get the coverage that I like. So I'll probably go through it faster than, you know, say even my L'Oreal foundation. So, you know, something to think about. At the end of the day, it's just makeup. So I'm glad I tried it. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.